Well, topping our 12 on Health Report, ask any man or woman considering a hair transplant what they're most concerned about, and they will tell you plugs. However, a Fairfield doctor has earned a worldwide reputation for his transplant technique and the results. Well, for more, 12 on Health reporter Gillian Neff is here. She's going to explain. Gillian. Well, guys, this is fascinating surgery that only requires local anesthetic. We spoke to two patients who said their hair transplant surgery is not painful and just a little uncomfortable. How can he go from totally bald on top to this? No plugs. And how can her thinning hair grow thick like this? The answer lies inside the newest technique for hair transplant surgery. So you've got good density. We're ready to go. First thing we're going to do is take that little strip out of the back. Dr. Ivan Cohen of the Fairfield-based Center for Hair Transplantation numbs the back of Tim McCauley's scalp and carefully removes hair to transplant to McCauley's balding crown area. That hair is programmed to grow for a lifetime. And if you move it, it continues to grow. What happens next is key. Oh, Nurses literally me. split the hairs under microscopes. Nothing is bigger than three hairs, and that's why you don't get any pluggy look. The final step, Dr. Cohen maps out Macaulay's new hairline. This will be your hairline for the rest of your life. He numbs the balding area, then makes incisions exactly where the new hair will go. We want this to look very natural. So the hairline has to be irregular as opposed to a straight line. This is the tail end of the procedure. Dr. Cohen is just checking the hairline before he makes the last few incisions. And then the nurses place the grafts. One graft at a time, precisely. I'm looking for permanent results. But he won't see them today. Dr. Cohen says it will be at least three months before those implanted hairs sprout in front. Then it will just grow in and fill in. That's how it worked for another patient, chiropractor William D'Angelo. I had no, no hair at all. After four sessions and $24,000, no. D'Angelo looks different. And his daughter can't tease him for being bald anymore. We're just relocating the hair on the scalp. It's a sure thing? Yep, it's a sure thing. Advice from both of the patients we spoke with, shop around for the technique and doctor who will work for you. Find out if they are board certified by the American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery. Dr. Cohen is the only doctor in Connecticut with that certification. And you can also check with the International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery. We've got both websites on news12.com. Just click on numbers and links on the left side of the screen. Tom, you were asking how long it takes. Mm -hmm. um, that mm -hmm. gentleman was Just in. a theoretical question there. <laughs> Just wondering. <laughs> About three hours, and that was it. Um, so We'll be, of course, revisiting it in three months to see how he's doing. But you can go back. In other words, you go back for more than one session. Right. If you have a big area that's bald, you can go for more than one session. Each time, it's it can run anywhere from 3,500 to 6,000. Okay. All right, Gillian. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.